simplify each expression. So these next examples are going to combine probably all of the rules that we've seen thus far in this, uh, in this unit. So here we have the quantity 2x to the 4th y to the 3rd raised to the 3rd power by 7x to the 3rd y raised to the 2nd power. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my product to a power. So I have then 2 to the 3rd, x to the 4th to the 3rd, y to the 3rd to the 3rd, and then I'd have a 7 to the 2nd, x to the 3rd to the 2nd, and y to the 2nd. So now I'm going to clean this up a little bit. So 2 to the 3rd is 8 x to the fourth to the third. When I raise a power to a power, I multiply the exponents, so that's x to the twelfth. Similarly, y to the third to the third is y to the ninth, times seven squares forty-nine, x to the third to the second, power to a power, that's x to the sixth, y to the second. Let's rearrange things. 8 times 49 times x to the 12th times x to the 6th times y to the 9th times y to the 2nd. 8 times 49 is 392. x to the, x to the 12th times x to the 6th using our product rule for exponents is x to the 18th y to the ninth times y to the second, similarly, is y to the eleventh. So we have 392 x to the eighteenth, y to the eleventh. Negative five a to the a to the fifth b to the eighth over a to the third b to the second, all raised to the third power. Now we could raise the quotient to the power first but it might be easier to work inside the quantity first. And if we sort of think of the order of operations, we should simplify everything within the parentheses before taking that exponent. So let's do that. All right, so working within the parentheses, I have negative five times a to the fifth over a to the third times b to the eighth over b to the second and that's all being raised to the third power. Using the quotient rule for exponents, I'd have now negative five a to the second b to the sixth. I subtracted exponents. Now I have a product to a power, so I have negative five to the third, a to the second to the third, and b to the sixth to the third. Negative five to the third is negative five by negative five by negative five, negative 125. A to the second to the third, if I raise a power to a power, I multiply the exponents, so that's a to the sixth. And similarly, I'd have b to the six times three, b to the eighteenth. So negative 125, a to the sixth, b to the eighteenth. four m to the fifth to the second over five m to the second n to the third to the third. So now here we have a division, but we have operations in the numerator and the denominator. So we should take care of the operations in the numerator and denominator separately before we actually divide. All right, so using our rules, 4m to the fifth to the second, I have a product raised to a power, so that's 4 to the second, m to the fifth to the second, over 5 to the third, m to the second to the third, n to the third to the third. Simplifying, 4 to the second is 16, m to the second to the ten, to the m to the fifth to the second is a power to a power, and so that would be m to the tenth power. Five to the third in the denominator is 125. 
m to the second to the third power to a power, that's m to the sixth, and similarly we'd have n to the third to the third, multiplying those exponents, that would be n to the ninth. So now I can simplify this somewhat. We have the m to the tenth over the m to the sixth. I can simplify that, and so then what I would have is 16 over 125 times m to the tenth over n m to the sixth. And what about that n to the ninth? Well, I can leave a factor of 1 in the numerator and the factor of n to the ninth in the denominator. Sixteen over one hundred twenty-five, there's no common factors there, so I'm going to leave that alone. Using the quotient rule, I would have m to the fourth, and I'd still have that one over n to the ninth. Now that m to the fourth, I can think of as an m to the fourth over one to turn it back into a fraction, so I can rewrite write this whole thing as one fraction. And so this simplifies as sixteen m to the fourth over 125 n to the ninth. And finally we have 7z to the eleventh over 7z to the fifth. We could use the uh, product to a power idea, but what I would notice here is that both of these factors are 7z's. So I can use the quotient rule directly and write this as 7z to the 11 minus 5. And so that's 7z to the 6th power, which is then 7 to the 6th, z to the 6th. Now 7 to the 6th, I'm using a calculator here, 7 to the 6th power is 117,649. So 117,649 z to the 6th.